I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys because we made it to 8,000 subscribers and that is a milestone for me like I really didn't think I would get a hundred subscribers on this channel so 8,000 is definitely a big thing for me and I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who watch my videos who comment who like and who subscribe to my channel so thank you and starting let's... off with my Tarte clean slate primer and I know that this is a face primer but I do use this on my eyes and I'm gonna put this on first smooth it out because I think it gives me a smooth finish and then I'm gonna take my LA girl pro conceal and I'm gonna put concealer on top of that after that I'm gonna blend it out with a blending brush and I'm also gonna set it with a powder so that this is not creasing on me Hopping right into the shadows, I'm taking a very fluffy um, blending brush and I'm taking the color Peanut Butter from the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm putting that first as my first transition type of color. This is like the first color that I'm putting around my crease area and this is just the first color that is going to help me blend into the other darker colors. As you see, after I initially apply, I blend. You have to really, really blend this because you don't want it to look harsh. We want it to be a gradient effect between colors. We don't want any harsh lines. We're going for a warm brown, so I'm taking Relgar by, by um, Anastasia in the Modern Renaissance. And as you see, I'm using a smaller brush. I'm going to downsize brushes each time when I go to a deeper color. And now I'm placing this in my crease right below where I put the first one and then I'm gonna blend both of those two colors together now I'm taking this umber type of color from my Nubian palette and as you see I have downsized the brush and I'm going deeper into the crease with this one because I want this to be a little bit more precise and I'm going to the crease and the outer V Next, I'm going to block out my lid with this concealer. And I think this just cleans it up a bit because I am going to put a light color shadow on top of it. But I'm this is why I call it a soft cut crease because it's really not a cut crease, but it kind of is. Using the tip of a flat brush, I'm going to place a darker brown right on top of where I created that kind of line and carved out my lid a bit. And then I'm going to blend that out just to give it a bit of a smokier look. Here I just want a little pop on my inner corners. So I'm doing a little shimmer. Um, shadow in the inner corners and I'm kind of sweeping it onto the lid a bit and here I'm just adding a bit of liner to the outer outer waterline I'm not going to go throughout the whole waterline just the outer just to give it that smoked effect then I'm taking my wet and wild liquid liner and I'm creating a wing Onto the face, I am taking my Beauty Blender and my Maybelline Fit Me and I'm just buffing my foundation into my face and just making sure that's all blended and then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to do my highlighted areas that I want to accentuate and we're going to be on and popping. I 
I do like to use the tip of my beauty blender and I like to do everything first, saving my under eyes for last. I usually don't contour, but I am today. I'm using Chestnut um, Concealer by LA Girl and I'm just dashing the lines and then I'm buffing it in with my beauty blender. I kinda just want to be extra fleek today, so yeah. Next, I'm taking my MAC Luster Drops and I'm just dabbing those onto the areas I wanted to highlight because this is kind of like a pre-highlight for me because I want to be glowing to the gods. So I'm just dabbing that in and then I'm taking my K-Lux Cosmetics and I'm putting on this. And I actually used two, two of hers today. I used Most Nominated and um, The Winner Is, which is gold and then a champagne type because like I said, I wanted to be highlighted to the gods. First for lips, I'm taking my um, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in Limbo. And I actually forgot how much I dislike these. They're ultimately too dry, but yeah, I used it anyways. Then I took Tansy by them as well, which was a satin lip. And then I took my NYX Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi and I put that on top just to give it a more creamy, lighter effect. And then we have it and I used my UD um, Finishing Spray to set that all in and then the look is complete. 